Okay, let's get into chapter 11 by talking about arc length. And of course, this relates to circumference. And so with this one formula, we're going to be able to find, as you see here, A, B, and C, the arc length, the circumference given this information, and again, the measure of an arc. All right, so what we've talked about so far is the measure of an arc. But now for A, we're talking about the arc length. That means if you see that arc AB, if I was to take a tape measure or a bendy ruler and could measure the length of AB, that's what we're talking about. Not the degree of it, but the actual length. And so what we're going to do is, if you can imagine um, this 60 degrees, this is also 60 degrees as far as the measure. And how much of the circle is that? Well, it's 60 out of the whole thing, which is 360. All right? So it's 60 out of 360, which means that little portion right there is one-sixth of the whole circumference. It's one-sixth of the whole circumference. Remember we talked about pizza? This piece of crust from A to B would be one-sixth of the whole pizza. And how much is the whole circumference? Well, that's pi d. And so to find arc length, we're going to take the portion out of 360 and multiply it by the circumference. So it's basically the measure of arc AB out of 360 times pi d which is circumference, okay? So let's erase this up here and then fill it in exactly for this example. So in other words, what we're doing is 60 out of 360 times pi d. Now in this particular example, the radius is eight, so the diameter is 16, so circumference would be 16 pi, and that's what we simplify. We already talked about that 60 goes into itself once and 60 goes into 360 six times. And then I can further simplify because two goes into six three times and two goes into 16 eight times. So I end up with eight pi over three for this answer of length. And if it asks for the decimal, then you can plug that into your calculator. Eight times pi divided by three. Okay, let's look at this second one. The second one, they're asking for the circumference, actually. This time, you're given the arc measure, and you're given the arc length. So basically, we're given the length, and we're given the measure. And this time, we're asked to find circumference. So let's plug in what we know. It tells us that the arc length is 4.19, and that equals the arc measure out of 360 times the circumference. We can actually just write a capital C there because that's what we're looking for, pi d. All right, and so then if we simplify this, we have 4.19 equals 1 ninth c. How do I get c by itself? We're gonna multiply both sides by nine, and c will equal, let's go ahead and finish this, nine times 4.19. Okay, so we get 37.71. That would be your circumference. So sometimes you're just given parts and you just plug it into the formula. All right, uh, let's go ahead and erase that and do this last one. Okay, this time we're going to be looking for, let's go with blue, the measure of the arc rs the measure this time okay again here's our formula and what we have right now is it looks like we have the radius and it looks like we have the arc length so let's plug it in here we have 44 is our length and that's going to equal the measure of rs that's what we're looking for right over 360 times the circumference. It tells us that the radius is 15.28. That means that the diameter, we just have to double that. So we get 30.56. So this will be 30.56 pi. 
and then we just have to simplify. And this one looks all kinds of crazy, but what we have here, let's go ahead and call this x, okay, to make that a little bit easier as far as the math. And so we go 44 equals x over 360 times 30.56 pi. Okay, let's clean this up a little bit. Or actually, I want you to think about it this way. Another way to write this would be 44 equals, let's put this as part of the numerate, 30.56 pi x over 360. Do you see that? And so to get x by itself, I just have to take the reciprocal. So I'm gonna multiply both sides by 360 over 30.56 pi. Do you see how I just took the reciprocal of this? Now this is getting really messy, so let me erase up here and see if we can finish it up up here. So basically we have 300, sorry, we have 360 over 30.56 pi. We also have 44, right, because we had that here and that equals x. Oof, look at that. The nice thing is this can all go into the calculator. We just have to say 360 times 44, and then we can divide that by 30.56, and divide that by pi. And we get that x equals 164.9. Nine. And so remember, what we were looking for is the arc measure. Does it make sense that the arc measure would be 164.99? Do you see this right here? It looks like it's just less than a semicircle, just less than 180, so it does make sense. Now that seems kind of messy, guys, sorry. But basically, it's this formula right here, and it just depends on what parts they give you and then you solve for the other parts using your algebra, okay? All right, great job.